Hey guys, Darius here and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this PC here that you may have seen on my Instagram. I post uh, pretty regularly on my Instagram, so if you want to, the link is on the screen and in the description, so make sure to check that out. I got a ton of pieces there that hopefully will inspire you to make your new piece. So this image, it's not really super complicated, so it's just comprised of like three pictures uh, three stock pictures. So we got uh, the, the flower-ish kind of things in the in background, which are actually leaves. Uh, you're gonna get that in the description, so make sure to go and download the stock image. It's free. Um, the girl, which is this picture I got from Envato Elements. Uh, they, you recently added photos, so I was pretty happy with that because I use a lot of photos for photo manipulation, so I thought that this subject this girl was really pretty and it fit the mood that I was trying to convey uh, with my final manipulation, which is why I masked her out. There's tons of masking tutorials on YouTube. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. So uh, I'm just gonna show you what I use uh, as a technique for masking, which is uh, pretty easy for me and I think it will help you guys out. So we got the mask here i added a layer mask to the girl and just erased her out basically but if i delete the layer mask uh this is what you're gonna have in the beginning so basically two pictures get this in the description and uh you you can use yourself as a subject like it's your decision or, or maybe a, a girlfriend that you have uh that would be pretty interesting or you can also use uh other flowers or anything basically so once you master out and you have a transparent background and just the girl separate, then uh, you can just add a mask to the girl and then press Control and I on the keyboard or uh, Command and I on the keyboard and this will invert the mask. Uh, that means that you can grab a brush now and wherever I paint with white, the color white, everything will come back so the girl is coming back right now but what i do to in, instead of like um erasing so like dropping the opacity and kind of like erasing what i want her erased that's that's dumb so let's uh, just add a mask and invert it and but now we, we don't know where the girl is so what i do is i hold control or command and click on the thumbnail of the girl and these marching ants just show up and now you know exactly where the girl is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint on the edges here with the mouse uh, or the tablet. I mean, a tablet would be really more practical in this case because you need really accurate uh, painting. But it also it works well with the mouse. Like right now, I'm not doing a good job with the mouse. I use a graphic tablet for this one. Probably gonna switch that one. Anyway, you keep doing this and put it behind the leaves or petals of uh, the background image that you want to. And in the end, you're gonna have something like this. So as you can see, the girl is in the background. Uh, in the foreground, we have some blurred leaves. It gives it a neat, really, really neat depth. I really, really like it. And uh, the next thing I did, I just like added some uh, highlights. And I basically made a copy of the girl and I clipped the mask to her so create clipping mask of the copy of the girl layer <laughs> and then just right click convert to smart object and then right click and then I rasterized it then I grabbed my where is it dodge and burn tool so with the burn tool I'm going to add shadows just with a soft brush so I can add shadows here and here you know and, and add it a bit more depth to the image and once you're done you can have something like this so the highlights are gonna be a bit more bright and obviously we're gonna have some shadows I also added some shadows on the multiply opacity 35% with a black soft brush so we got these shadows going on here I really like those I thought it improved the lighting so this is why I let them in and the next thing I did uh, was actually by accident I was going for something else so if I go to normal on this layer and delete actually show this uh, delete the mask disable layer mask so we got these uh, galaxy things going on here uh, which is originally a stock image I, I was gonna do some stars in the background but I don't know 
I, I just didn't like it that much. So I kind of like blurred it and left it on color in the background. Uh, opacity 88%. I kind of like the blue that uh, was covering the other leaves in the background, so I kind of left it. Uh, next, I was like, what am I going to add to these pictures? Am I going to add the regular spheres that I always add in the images? I was like, no, maybe make something more interesting. So I kind of went with scissors because it's mysterious. Why, why would scissors be floating uh, around there? So I was like, man, maybe not floating, maybe add some strings. So, which is why I added these strings. I am, I think I'm gonna edit these to make them a bit thinner. So they actually look like strings because they kind of look like ropes now. I don't know, they, they're a bit too thick for strings, I guess. And then I uh, painted some color, some uh, lighting, I guess, some shadows where the shadows belong, etc. And the next step is always camera raw. I liked using camera raw filter, so I'm gonna make a new layer on top of everything, go to image, apply image, and then that this is going to put my entire image on one single layer. So now I can edit it. I gotta make a copy of it because camera raw is destructive, unless you have a smart object, which could do that, but I don't know, it's kind of lagging my computer, so I'm just gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna go to filter and then camera raw filter. And now from here, it's all personal choice. It's all personal choice. You can choose to change anything. So if I go to the hue saturation layer, I can change the hue of the magenta and the purples. Uh, let me see here, this one here. See how the flowers or uh, petals change color. So I really, really like this red. But I also like this pink, so it's all personal preference. I can change the yellows to be a, be a bit more green, I guess. So you can also go for something like this. Uh, change the saturation, so how intense the colors will be inside of your image. You can change the temperature, make it colder, make it uh, a bit more summery. Um, change the tint, make it a bit more candy-like. Uh, towards the magenta side, the clarity. I usually drop this because it gives it this nice soft glow that I really, really like in my images. And I always pump up the vibrance a bit because, I don't know, I kind of feel very colorful in the past months, I guess. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you can use the dehaze to bring a bit more detail back. Uh, you can add some grain if you want to. This is kind of sort of to blend stuff in better. You can um, also add a vignette if you want to. And once you're satisfied with the end result, to just click OK. So we went with one single filter from, from this to this. So that's pretty awesome. I love camera filter. You can play around with it. I can also duplicate, for example, this layer and go yet again in camera and change colors around or anything. I can make these blue, green, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to. I can change the hair color, I can I can do whatever I please in um, Camera Raw. So it's, it's a great filter, all Adobe uh, photography plans or Creative Cloud plans should have it. Anyway, just a quick tutorial to help you guys out with this particular image. Uh, get the stocks in the description, you can use obviously other images, other stocks. Uh, you can use flowers for example. or, or uh, use a friend as a subject or some object as a subject that also works. If you want to send me your stuff, just do it on Instagram. Just send me a DM. I will check it out. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you liked it. And if you disliked it, then let's talk about it in the comment section. What did I do wrong? What could I have done better? I'm happy to hear your suggestions. Obviously in graphic design, some stuff are mainly subjective. So obviously one person may not like what the other person likes. Still, I am very happy to hear your suggestions. That's it for this video. I hope it was not too long. Make sure to leave a like. See you guys in the next one.